Steve from Tronix Fix shouted me out on his YouTube channel to get me over the line for 2,000 subs. Surely not. And then your boy Joey Does Tech appears on a My Mate Vince YouTube Fixes series episode. Surely not. Let me just say this. This week has been an incredible week for the Joey Does Tech community. To think that I appeared in a My Mate Vince YouTube Fixes video is just mind-blowing. So Vince, again, thank you so much for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. And then to follow that up, I'm sat on my sofa with a crunchy ice cream and I'm scrolling through YouTube and I see that Steve from Tronix Fix has shouted me out. If you are from either my mate Vince's community or Tronix Fixes, make sure you just put that down below in the comments and say hello. I could spend half an hour going through a list of people's YouTube channel that I could thank for helping me get to 2K subscribers, whether that's through inspiration or just shout outs. Phil from The Coder, big reason why I've gone over that 2K mark as well. Elliot from The Retro Future, Adam and IT, Northridge Fix, Stez Sticks Fix, Electronic School Repair, thank you. Here I have a dead Nintendo Switch and the charging port on this is actually fine. This, on the other hand, is a Nintendo Switch that only charges on one side of the USB and doesn't dock into a docking station to plug into the TV. These are five USB-C chargers for the Nintendo Switch and I'm gonna need five because I think today's gonna take a lot of practice. I'm gonna take my dead Nintendo Switch and replace the port to just get comfortable with it and then once I feel comfortable, we're gonna go over to the real thing and see if we can fix this Nintendo Switch. I paid 135 five pound for this Nintendo Switch on eBay. I've also got some new tools that I've purchased in preparation for this because I've had some issues with my soldering iron. So let's head on over to the desk and we can get started. I'm so nervous. The first one is usually I use a sponge for my soldering iron, which is this. However, I've now gone and purchased one of these, which is like a brass. So after you solder, you can clean your iron in here. The second purchase is some of this tip tinner, which you supposedly use when your iron is hot and you just want to tin the end of your tip. This is the Nintendo Switch that doesn't work. There are multiple videos on this Switch. I feel like I've definitely taken the gauntlet of the Switch killer. You'll find those links in the description down below. I'm going to take this apart and come back to you in a second. Before I end up taking the motherboard out to replace the charging port, I wanted to show you what I was charging at because this is a faulty Switch. It does not work. So we currently have a draw of 0.15 amps at 14.8 volts. I need to remember this because it's not going to be perfect after I replace this Switch. As you can see, We've got a couple of burn marks in places and this switch has been through the wars. Let's put it that way. So let's just remember 0.15 amps. And here we go. Our first attempt at removing a USB-C charging port from a Nintendo Switch. My heat gun is going to be on 420 Celsius with an airspeed of 3 out of 9. Okay, so that didn't actually work too well. I'm gonna up the temperature to 450 on my heat gun and I'm gonna change the nozzle to a bigger nozzle to cover more surface heat. Not fantastic, but definitely a lot better with a bigger nozzle. I don't know if you can see, but I might have burnt a little bit of plastic off the top. Quick clean with some IPA whilst it's hot. Right, now let's go over to the microscope and see how this is looking. All right, so this is how we're now looking on the port itself. And it looks pretty clean. Yeah, it was a good, uh, I think it was a good removal, let's say that. Good for our first time, I think. That was the easy bit, Joey, come on, man. Okay, that resistor's still there as well, which is good. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that resistor was still on the board. And just to confirm, my iron is set at 450 as well, and I've got quite a big tip on it. Perfect. Had a tiny bit more flux. So as you can see, these two are now clean. That one's clean, that one's clean. Try and get these a little bit clean now, I guess. Uh, my wick is screwed, so what I'm gonna attempt to do, I'm gonna see if this works. I don't know if it is. You can add a tiny bit of flux and a tiny bit of solder, just to see if I can get it a little bit lower temperature to make it easier for myself, maybe. This one is playing up a little bit, trying to get solder off, as is this one. Again, don't know if what I'm doing is, is right. 
I feel like I really need to get rid of these solder blobs before going any further, so I'm gonna try that now. The wick I've got just kind of feels like uh, it's falling apart. It doesn't feel strong, it just feels very uh, brittle. It feels like it very easily comes apart. See how it just falls apart when I put pressure on it? I don't understand. I'm actually gonna try a bigger tip on my soldering iron. Does this help? I don't know if I need more flux or what, but <laughs> Oh man. Now let's try over here. The reason why I think that came out is because I added low melt solder to it, so I'm gonna do the same here. And add a tiny bit of low melt solder. Can you see how the solder's liquefied, but it's not going into the wick? I think that's as good as we're gonna to get to be honest. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the rest of this solder out from this and this. I've put the uh, I've put the charging port on and it seems to fit fine, so we should be okay as long as it's just not blocking it. I'm just gonna finally tin up the pads. Give it a clean with some IPA. Looks okay, no bridges from what I can see. Now for the main attraction. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Here's what it all boils down to. Okay, we got this. You got this, you got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. Now one thing I was waiting for, and I don't know how to feel about this. So I was waiting for the pins to go like a shiny silver color but they never did. But then I started seeing the plastic melt and I obviously don't want to melt the plastic inside the charger. I don't think any of these pins are solid whatsoever. They're not, which is annoying. I'm gonna reapply flux and we go again. I'm gonna increase the airflow on the hot air station. It's on five now, here we go. Attempt number two. Plastic keeps melting. Yeesh! This is really tough. This is really, really tough. Okay, maybe they've made a little bit more of a connection now. Quick test with the tweezers. Some of them yes, some of them no. So I'm gonna get my solder and iron and I'm just gonna tin them real quick. No, you see how so many of them still move, look, they're still all really loose. See that? Okay. I'm gonna try the hot air station again. Wish me luck. Okay, okay. Maybe a little bit more successful than the uh, than the last one. Okay, 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 okay. These two at the back first, I think, or these two. We'll do these two at the front. There we go. So we got that one, that one. That one, and that one. Okay, moment of truth. This should be displaying 0 0.13 to 0 0.15 amps. If it does, I'm happy and confident to say that this is a good enough job so I can go onto the actual switch we need to change the charging port for to make work. Here we go. 0 0.12, 0 0.14, cool, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I think that is exactly what we had before. So I'll test it the other way as well. The fact that it's actually receiving a charge is good. 0 0.12, 0 0.14. Yeah. So it works. It works in both ways. So I'm I'm confident enough to say that it's not you know it's not it's not flashing or anything like that. I'm happy to move on to the main board. Let's do that now. This is the real deal now. No pressure. <laughs> All the pressure in the world. All 
All right, so this is the aftermath, as you can see, which isn't too bad. There seems to be a little bit of like burnt plastic, I think, on the edge. <laughs> yeah, it's like here. So I need to get, oh, not anymore. But yeah, that looks uh, as I thought it would. Pretty clean though, no torn traces, which is amazing. Or should I say torn pads? And then we've obviously got the solder here, the solder here. These ones, it's gonna be a nightmare to get rid of the solder out of here again, but let's try and do it. I thought I'd quickly show you the state of the old port. So you can see there's quite a lot of the gold pins there are just all over the place. I'm just about to put the port back on now, so wish me luck. Now I'm gonna push down and release. Please be connected, please. I have faith, I have faith. This one went cleaner than the last one. Good, okay. Sweet, all right. Now let's just solder the back. Make sure that it's definitely flat. It's flat with the board, that's really good as well. And we just solder these pins. Overall, I am happy with the result of this. Let's give it a good old clean and see if it works. I'm too nervous, man, I don't wanna do it. I literally don't want to do it. Here we go. No. Nothing. What about the other side? Nothing. No. Let's take it apart and redo it. My guess is that it just didn't get hot enough underneath on the other row of pins here. That's what I'm thinking. So instead of just tinning these up now, I'm gonna put the solder in, uh, I'm gonna put the hot air station back on and just give it another blast and see if we can um, push down for a little bit more pressure and just see what happens. So before I even check the nudge tech, I'm actually going to put some solder on these pins again, like I did on the one before, because that seemed to have worked. So I'm gonna do the exact same here. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm not gonna put it back together as much as I did last time, but let's double check. Here we go, second moment of truth. Have we done a better job the second time round? Come on. No, we haven't. Oh no. Okay, why would you not be receiving any charge, man? Flip. Wait, let me just double check. Keeps flashing, it's very temperamental, very temperamental. Try it the other way, nothing at all. Still nothing on the amp meter and uh, occasionally it'll pop It'll pop up. So I need to, first of all, I'm gonna check for shorts and then um, on the front pins and then I'm gonna have to go again. There we go, okay, 0 0.02, 0 0.21, 0 0.46. So we know that it works, it's just stuck there now. Okay, let me try that again. No, it doesn't work. Something's definitely not right, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> we go again. Might have found the culprit. I don't know how I'm gonna try and clean that up. It's not even that flat. I mean, if you look at the left-hand side, you can see where, I'll put it in the center of the screen, you can see the thing sticking up. It's not even that flat. I think I've messed up it, guys. Let me try and sort that plastic before giving it another go with the hot air gun. Just as an FYI, it's still not working. I'm gonna change it out for another port because I think I've messed up the plastic so much on this. So I'm gonna swap out the port. Hey guys, Joey from the future here. For this next attempt, I had a call with a friend who works with SMD soldering quite a bit for his job, and he was talking me through all the different things that I should try. After I removed the port, I was unable to get the solder out from the through holes, specifically the back ones. I tried solder sucker, I tried plenty of flux, I tried adding more solder, low melt solder to the through holes to weaken the solder, make it easier, as a lower melting point to suck up and it just wasn't working, nothing was working. It must have been a good solid half hour, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour that we were just sat in the cool and he was talking me through the process. I actually went through another two ports trying this by the way. Because I couldn't get the solder out, I was just using the hot air gun and it wasn't melting the solder. All in all, I, I, I haven't been able to replace the charging port on the new Nintendo Switch. I really messed up. I really messed this one up really badly and it's, I'm, ang I'm angry. I'm disappointed and angry. I'm very sweaty, I'm very hot, I'm very agitated. I need to reset my brain, recalibrate. This is where I'm currently at. Non-stop use with the soldering station. I've had the fan on. As you can see, it's just an absolute mess. 
so much. Look at all the wick. The board itself is just completely gone. It's so burnt, man. It's so burnt. I've messed this up so bad. You can see, like, around about here how burnt the board is. The wick just kept falling apart and I literally used the whole roll. The, the attempts that I had today on the good Nintendo Switch were I must have had about seven attempts, both with hot air, with the iron, everything, and just not being able to do it. Put it this way, I started with five ports. I used one port on the old board that didn't work. I've, I've got one port left. So I've used three ports trying to get this thing to work. I'm gonna be doing a live stream tomorrow around about 2 p.m. GMT, so if you're around, please make sure you pop by, because I'm not giving up on this one. I paid 130 pound for this Nintendo Switch. I need to get it working. I fully knew exactly what I was getting into by purchasing this Nintendo Switch. I knew it would be practice. I think it was about 10 pounds for those five ports. Tomorrow, I'll be ready to go again. I'm sorry to you guys that I wasn't able to fix it. I really, really, really thought I was gonna be able to, but most importantly, I'm, I'm just angry at myself, you know? Feel free to join the Discord link down below in the description. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed the try anyway, and I'll see you tomorrow in the live stream. Let's go again, round two. Until next time, peace.